What's going on pack and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to talk about collections. I'm going to talk about the first ever collection I had. And that's because, well, it's kind of coming to an end. I don't have much to, I don't have much of what I used to collect compared to when I was younger. And the first collection I ever had was snow globes. And I had some fascination with snow globes. I love snow globes. The smaller ones, the better. I love the small ones. I have a very tiny one that's probably about that big. You can't see my finger. It's about maybe about maybe that big maybe has a lobster on it and I usually get them from different cities whenever my parents go somewhere or I used to get them for my birthday. If I wanted a souvenir it'd probably be a snow globe but when I was younger compared to how it is now I'm not too big on the whole snow globe thing but it was my first ever collection. It was the first big one I ever had. I had maybe 20 snow globes and throughout the years I did break them and Sometimes it wasn't my fault. Keep in mind, it wasn't always my fault. When we moved, not to this house, to the last house, we had packed up all our stuff. I put my snow globes in a box with my other box, and I suddenly opened my eyes, or not opened my eyes, I suddenly opened the box, and one of my snow globes is broken. It was one of them that, it was one of them that makes, that made music. You, you just twist the knob on the bottom, and sound would come out. And it had broken during the move, and it was basically in shambles, and unfortunately I did put it in with my textbook, but thankfully there's paper wrapped around it, so it didn't get too bad into my textbook, just kind of the edges were a little wet, but it did kind of flood the entire box. The only thing that was in there was other snow globes and some of my textbooks that I was going to have to send back. And that was probably the first important one I had ever broken. I got extremely, extremely upset when I found out that it had broken. Because it was a very important one, and my grandmother had given it to me. But it broke, I couldn't fix it, and it was kind of just the end of it. I couldn't keep it, and that was that. And I still have a few today. I have maybe six between six and ten snow globes compared to how many I had when I was younger I almost had a little bit more but when I was sorting through my snow globes before the move I found one that the water had basically drained out of it and I thought that was kind of funny because there was no water there was no leakage there was nothing and it could have evaporated I'm not sure honestly I had some other snow globes up there with that snow globe and it was weird that that was the only one that had evaporated there are no cracks in it no water no nothing and it had been up on the shelf by the window but i had always kept my curtains closed unless there's some reason i need to have them opened and it was the only one that had been that had either evaporated or cracked or done something and it was moved farther away from the window so that one i couldn't keep and it was unfortunate because it was my favorite christmas snow globe of all time i was very sad that i didn't get to keep it but you know it's kind of the the nature thing some things go new things replace them kind of thing but it kind of was disappointing because I had to have that one for so long and I still do have quite a few older older snow globes that are in pretty good shape I don't have any of my bigger ones I actually donated those or gave them to somebody else who collected snow globes and to, that was replaced by my Funko Pop collection because I do collect Funkos now instead of my snow globes I do have a couple snow globes and I'll get one to show you guys this is actually my favorite snow globe. I actually have had this one for a couple of years now and I got it a very, very long time ago. It's one of my smallest ones. It is my smallest one. I don't think I have many that are smaller than that, but it's definitely actually one of my favorite ones. I like the ones that have puppies or animals on it, even though it is a gigantic lobster dude standing on top of a, I think it is a hotel. And I got this one when my parents went on vacation. I wasn't with them, but they brought something back for me, and this is what they brought back, because I always wanted snow globes whenever they went somewhere, so something to help me commemorate things, and I'm surprised this hasn't, oh, it is breaking, the, the floor is starting to come up a little bit, and that's what's happened, happened with my other one, the floor started to come up, so it wouldn't glue down anymore, and they're so old that I kind of expect that to happen, but it's still my favorite one of all time, and I used to collect them a lot. Like I said, collect them a lot when I was younger, and now I don't have that many. I only have five snow globes, which isn't a bad amount, especially since I don't collect them as crazily as I used to, 
but they're definitely my favorite. That's definitely my favorite snow globe, and the ones I did keep were my favorite ones that have a lot of sentimental meaning to me. But that's it for this video, you guys. Have you collected something in your past that maybe you still have or that you don't have anymore? That have you collected anything? I mean, it could be anything. It could be the pop pops. It could be cards. It could be snow globes, anything really. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time with another video. So see you guys later. See ya.